Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're starting a new playlist on Bayes' Theorem. So what is Bayes' Theorem? Well, we have a definition here on the board, so let's read it and see what it says. It says here that Bayes' Theorem allows us to calculate the probability of an event. So one thing it can do is calculate the probability that something will occur or that some condition is true. A second thing that it can do is it can calculate the predictive value of an outcome. So we do a test, we get an outcome, and now we have to calculate some predicted value of that outcome. And it's based on prior knowledge of conditions related to the, to the event. So there are some other conditions that the outcome depends on as well. So it is calculating the probability of a particular outcome and what that probability will actually mean what is the what we call predictive value of that probability and of course we're going to show you some examples to help us understand a little bit more what it is but the basic equation of Bayes' theorem is, is as follows it tells us here and of course here we have what these things mean what the symbols means p a slash b what does it mean is the probability that a occurs if b is true so here we read the probability that A occurs if B is true is equal to the probability that B occurs if A is true times the probability that A occurs independent of B divided by the probability that B occurs independent of A. So it seems like a simple theorem. It actually has a lot of power, but what does it really mean? What is B? What is A? Well, it can be applied to several things. It's applied in the medical field a lot to predict the value of an outcome of a test, for example. Let's say that we want to run a test to determine if the person being tested, the subject being tested, is a user or a non-user of drugs. So we use U for user and U for non-user. Or we can run a test to determine if the subject has a disease or is healthy. So we use D for the disease, H for healthy. So if we take the same theorem, Bayes' theorem, and write it under those conditions, let's first take a look at what it would look like for a test to determine if the subject is a user or non-user. So we can say that we run a test, the test can be positive or the test can be negative. And here we can say that the probability that the subject is a user if the test came out positive is equal to the probability that if the test came out positive, it is a user of drugs times the probability that the person being tested is a user divided by the probability that the test came out positive. And keep in mind that if the test came out positive, it means that it could be a true positive or a false positive, meaning a true positive means that the person actually uses drugs and was tested to be a user of drugs or the person doesn't use drugs, but the test indicated that the person did use drugs. That's what we call a false positive. In case of that we want to test to see if a person has a certain disease or not, we can say that the probability for the person to having the disease, if the test came out positive, is equal to the probability that the test came out positive if the person had the disease times the probability if the person has the disease divided by the probability that the test came out positive. So now this by itself doesn't give you quite enough information to actually calculate the result and calculate Bayes' theorem, but that's the definition of the theorem, at least that way we can understand a little bit better what it means. Now we're going to show you some applications of how to actually apply it, and we're going to expand this theorem a little bit as well. And we're going to give you some first some information about some of the terminology that we use when we run these particular tests as well. So stay tuned and we'll show you all the details of how to actually apply a Bayes' theorem and how to understand what the different terminology means as well. And then we're going to go on from here. 